They're feared by many here, but they're also some of the most loyal fighters to Iran's religious leadership. The besieged militia's mission is to protect this country's Islamic order. And one of its commanders told me they're willing to take on ISIS. We are all prepared to go and destroy ISIS totally, he says. If our imam, our supreme leader, orders us to, we'll destroy ISIS. He says so far the Basij have not gotten involved in the fight. But the elite Revolutionary Guard Quds Force is training, advising and supporting Iraqi Shia militias. Led by General Qasem Soleimani, who was accused of involvement in the Shia insurgency against U.S. forces during the Iraq War, but who has now become a celebrity to many Iraqis and Iranians. The Iranians believe it's their strategy that's making a difference in the fight against ISIS. They also tell us they want better cooperation with the U.S. They say at this point in time, the level of trust simply isn't there. That feeling is mutual. The U.S. has also denied any direct coordination with the Iranians as it continues to lead the air campaign against ISIS. At the moment, we consider the United States to be a threat to us because its policies and actions are threatening to us, the commander of Iran's ground forces tells me. We would like the U.S. to change its rhetoric and tone of voice so that our nation could have more trust in U.S. military leadership. The Iranians believe the airstrikes against ISIS are not effective, and they say they feel countries allied with the U.S. are not seriously trying to defeat the group. Uh, the battle in Iraq is very important to Iran. The Iranians believe that the Americans, if they were serious, they could do a lot more to put pressure on their allies, and also, if they were serious about airstrikes, they would be carrying out a lot more than what they are currently doing. The U.S., of course, sees things differently. Though Iran and America have a common enemy in ISIS, the lack of trust, at least so far, means no common strategy.